Hello everyone. In the last video, we learned how to grab objects with the custom hands. And in this video, what we're going to be doing is learning a new way of grabbing objects called distance grabbing. So what that is going to enable us to do is grab objects from a distance without having to actually go right next to them and grab them, which could be very useful in certain applications. So to start, what we want to do is we want to first of all put objects in the scene that we're going to be able to distance grab. So if you just look up this oops, distance grab, you can see here that you have distance grab cube crosshair. Let's drag that into the scene and let's just put the rotation to zero, drag it up and scale it up a bit. 0 0.16. And then let's just duplicate it to have two of it. and move it a bit to the side. Okay, now that we have both the objects right here, we want to put them in something called a layer that's going to be for all the grabbable objects. As you can see here, every object has a layer. Most objects are going to be in default layer. You have different ones. And if you click down, you can see all the layers that we currently have. What we want to do is create a new layer for these uh, objects that we're going to be grabbing from a distance. So we're going to select them both and click on add layer. And then what we're going to do is for user layer six, we're going to select and type in grabbable. Okay. Now that when we select both of them, we're going to go and as you can see in number six, we have grabbable. And then you want to select yes, change children. Now that we have both our objects in the grabbable layer, what we want to do is go to our OVR player controller and under that to the left hand and right hand anchors. And as you can see, we have the hands that we had from the previous videos. We're going to delete those hands and we're going to replace them with something called the distance grab hands. So as you can see, when we looked up distance grab, they showed up distance grab hand left and distance grab hand right. Let's just drag them under the right controller anchor and the left controller anchor. And then from there, what we want to make sure is that both of these objects, the distance grab hand right and left, have a distance grabber component. So this one has it, so we're fine. But this one doesn't, so we're going to add that to it. Distance grabber. And we're going to delete the OVR grabber from the regular hands. Okay, so the next thing that we want to do is select both of these hands. And for the player transform, we want to drag in the OVR player controller. For the parent, for each one of them, we want to add for this one, let's add the right hand anchor. And for the other one, we want to add the left hand anchor. And you want to also make sure that the controller is selected. So here, left controller, we want to select the left touch. And here, as you can see, we have the right touch. Now, there are some stuff missing from the new distance grabber script that we added to the left hand. So we're just going to check, uh, make sure we add that. For the grip transform, we're going to go under it and add the grip transform. And for the grab volumes, we want to add three and then select the following and then grab volume big and grab volume small which is right under it. another thing that we're just going to check is prevent grab through and then as you can see if we select both these hands there's something called grab objects in layer and if you remember previously, we put our distance grab cubes in the grabbable layer. And right next to it here, you can see it's number six. So we're going to go to both these hands. And then we're going to put grab objects in layer six. And then for max grab distance, let's just put two. And obstruction layer, let's just put negative one, which means there's no obstruction layer. Okay. 
And the next thing that we want to do is make sure that the animator component is set. Right here it says none. So we want to go under and select this weird name object and just put it under and do the same thing with the other hand. And this should be all for the hands right now. So what we're going to do next is just collapse these hands for now. And we want to go to the OVR player controller. And as you can see, right now it's currently in layer default. So what we're going to do is change that to uh, layer number two called ignore raycast. And it's going to ask, yes, change children. And then under that, what we want to do is create an empty game object and call it grab manager and we want to add the grab manager script to it and also a sphere collider now we want to make the sphere collider bigger so let's make it 2.5 and this is going to allow us to grab objects as long as they're inside the sphere so we won't be able to grab objects that are too far away and we want to make sure to check is trigger which means that the collider is not going to collide with these objects and push them away. Instead, it's just going to check if these objects enter inside of the sphere. Okay. And lastly, you want to change this. Only the grab manager. Everything else needs to be in the ignore raycast inside of OVR player controller, except the grab manager needs to be in the default layer. And then what we want to do is create an object outside the OVR player controller and we're gonna call it distance grabber sample from there we're gonna add distance grabber sample script to it and we want to add both of our hands to these components so we just drag it from here put it under put it under and just collapse everything back and we should now be ready to go build and test out our distance grab hands in the uh, headset now that we're in the build you can see that we can go up to these cubes and grab them from a distance by pointing at them and we can apply this logic for many things for example if you were making a gun game then you can add this component to a gun and you would be able to grab it with any hand from a distance. Now we're going to go back and try to do the same thing with any object that we choose so we can distance grab any object. Now that we've tested the distance grabbing in our headset, I'm going to show you how to do that with any object that you like. So what we want to do is go to one of the distance grab cubes that we've just imported from the assets and our pre-made. And we're going to right click and select prefab, unpack completely. And then from there, you want to get this crosshair component from under and drag it into the assets and create a prefab of it. As you can see now, we have the crosshair prefab. And what we want to do is go to the cube and sphere objects that we've had previously, and we're going to make them distance grabbable. And you can apply that same logic to any object that you want. So Let's go to the sphere first. And what we want to do is remove the OVR grabbable script. And we're going to add distance grabbable. And make sure you're not selecting the grabber, but the grabbable. OK. And then what you want to do from there is just add this, drag this crosshair component that we made a prefab of under it. And as you can see right now, it's too big. So what we're going to do, we're just going to scale it down a little bit. Let's make it like 3.6, 6.6. That's pretty good. And then from there, you want to make sure that the sphere is in the grabbable layer. And you're going to select yes, change children. And you're good to go. And we're going to test it again in, this, in the headset and see if that works. As you can see, if we walk up to the sphere, we can now distance grab it. 
Now, if we follow the same steps, we can add this feature to any object that we like. We now have two ways of grabbing objects, regular grabbing and distance grabbing. If you like this video, please subscribe and like, and let me know in the comments what video you want me to make next. Thank you for watching.